Margie Barilia is on the line right now. She's an expert in uh, at-risk teens. And Margie, thanks for coming on. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So you tell me, um, I think it's okay to be able to put an app on my daughter's phone and uh, snoop. I think it's okay. What do you think? I wouldn't say snoop. I think it's more of you're the parent and you're the child. Right. And with the young lady being a runaway and then now, you know, being found, praise God that we found her. Yeah. I was once that teen. Mm. I was that teen that ran away a lot. And it was because there was more severity to it. As a younger child, I was dealing with depression um, as well as suicide ideation. Mm. So, you know, it's tough. Um, Today's society, I think that there's a lot more single parents out there opposed to dual parent household and it's not just the safety that is such a huge concern but you know it's just to know that the kid is where they need to be yeah um i i um and you're okay and i'm okay with that are you okay with that oh absolutely yeah. i am um, you know i have three teens 14 16 18 all males and you know sometimes being you know, separated in so many areas of ones at basketball or football or what right, happens. Right, right. It just makes it so much easier. That we actually have a family locator on our cell phone. And um, it was it was the conversation we had even before we even walked to the, walked into the store saying, hey, this is the line we're drawing. Yeah. The yeah. moment you turn off this family locator, prepare to give me back the phone. Yeah, I, so I'm... The phone, yeah, yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. especially because let's let's face it. Uh, I, I'm assuming that you pay for your child's phone. Are you asking me? Oh, no, I want it. No, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I you think, and Margie. I, 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 Margie, I assume I do. Uh, we're being grilled here now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you do too. But I I, uh, I do wonder um, if they if they don't want to be seen, or if they don't want you to know, they just turn it off, right? Yeah, well, like she said, you turn it off, you're right. giving you get, me the phone uh, do back. Do you get notified if it gets turned off? Yes, and you can actually set the perimeters, too. Okay. Like when they go out, out of outside of X amount of miles or certain, certain phone calls are being made, you know, incoming or outgoing, like you can actually set that up or what time to turn off the phone. That's all there. And you also have that app, Live360, to where... You know, the further that they just violate whatever the agreement was prior to even handing over the phone. I mean, it's crazy. I have an 18-year-old, but he's going off to college. Yeah. He has no issues because he's so transparent with me. And because I started it at a really young age with him, just the communication. It's like, tell me what you have on your heart. Let's talk about it. And if you're pissed off at me, that's I'm sorry you feel that way. But as long as you talk to me in, in a professional or, yeah. say, respectful way, you can say whatever you want. Okay. You know, right. and, and that's key. Yeah. And that's why now today in kids, you know, with kids in the society, there's so many mental health issues. And now we're having to put up, you know, so many symposiums for parents to interconnect, have more of a communication, educate them why their kids are running away, educate them why the kids are on drugs. You know, so, again, it starts from the home. We can only do so much as social individuals, sure. you know, or... Yeah. or Advocate. So, so can yeah. I ask this social this, this uh, social this uh, family locator app? Does it pop it up like a Google map and it shows you your son's two blocks away and your daughter's maybe three miles away? Does it say the address they're at? Can you? I, I'm not familiar with this. Can you explain how it lays out to a parent where the children are or the, where the phone is well, actually? I'm, oh, absolutely. So I know for my phone service we have T-Mobile, so it can get as detailed as possible. Um, when you start seeing like their little dots start moving away from wow, this is like, a real the- tracker. Oh, wow. oh yeah, you can uh, your iPhone will do it right now. It's incredible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, That's why you got to turn it on or off. Yeah. My, uh, you know, every year when your kids go to school, you got to make sure they have their shots. Um, my daughter got her, I don't know, measles shot, and the, of course there's the uh, the flu vaccine. And the digital chip implant. Um, <laughs> she thought it was a flu vaccine, but it, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to tell you, I'm it, it, based on. I mean, if you're a creep and you're creeping and you're you're spying and it's snooping is uh, as as you, I kind of said earlier. Well, I, I, that's bad, I, I would think. But if you're simply want to make sure you know that you've that your child, that you know where your kid is, uh, I, I just think this is, 
This is the way it goes. I, I'm I'm a okay with it. You literally can see them driving down the road and watching the little dot move, right, Margie? Yes, and you know what? Honestly, that wasn't even an issue with trust. Yeah, I did it because I wanted the peace of mind as a single sure. parent. Yeah, sure. Um, you know that was key. And then, and again, you gotta ask yourself why are you doing this? If you're having to play MacGyver with your kids, then it's more than just a tracker. It's an issue where you need to get old school with your child and have a deep conversation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I have, be real. I have some. I have someone here saying we use Life Three Hundred and Sixty. A friend of ours told us about it. She has it for her kids in college. She could tell when her son left campus with their car. When he wasn't supposed to, it shows miles per hour, and he was driving eighty to the casino. A downside is also it also beeps when you're coming home, um, so that could be an alert for uh, for kids. Um, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I know they have all these. Uh, they have all this technology. Uh, you could uh, you, you they have these. Uh, Door locks where when the door gets opened, it'll send a message to your iPhone when the door is closed. So you're knowing when people are coming and going. So I think these are uh, this technology can really be used in a positive way, but it also has its little uh, its little glitches, I think, too. They also, you know, one of the other apps that I had that was very helpful because I worked in the hospital a lot, uh, you know, it's not even, again, invasion of privacy or, you know, get into that mode. When you walk into the house or anyone that, you know, enters in the password for your home alarm, it takes a snapshot mm. and automatically sends it to your cell phone. Again, it comes back to the parent. Unless you really have your deep understanding of why you're doing this, it's such a sense yeah. of peace. Yeah. And a lot of people don't get it. You're not we're not as spoiled to have dual parents <laughs> right, in right. our household. So just the little extra assistance yeah. is phenomenal and you know, explaining to your kids of why you're even doing this from the beginning makes it so much easier and actually builds a bond between the two because you're you're sharing with them, we're going to do this because this is what what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. When you are able to have that communication with your kids, just imagine how much further you guys can grow as an individual. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, uh, Margie, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Again, that, that, uh, that app is Life360. I'm assuming you go to life360.com to uh, to get details on the app, right? Um, you can actually go online or you can actually download the app. And okay. My goodness, we've definitely had a lot of conversations on this Life360. Maybe they should come out to the symposium and really let us know how it's really working for them. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, uh, Margie, thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. It's Margie Berilia. Thank you so much.